that the children stay with us. And Paul tells us that there is one body and one spirit and that we are all given gifts. Every one of us is given gifts of the spirit. Some of us are called to be prophets. Some of us are called to be evangelists. Some of us are called to be pastors. And some of us are called to be teachers. Some of us are called to be teachers. We have a little surprise planned, and I need the help of all the children. Will the children please come forward and gather up here up front? I also need a very special chair. Come on up here. Let's see some kids. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. Zachary has something special. Come on up. Thank you for bringing the special chair, Joel. Will you please put it up front in the middle? And the children can kind of gather around the chair. Is everybody here? We got some stragglers. Come on. Oh my God. What a beautiful, beautiful group. Thank you so much. And now, I invite Ms. Neb Forsyth to please come forward. <laughs>
show, you can hold your banner up here. Can you stand back behind? I don't know, this is tricky business, isn't it? Can you come this way? Just come this way. also has a gift. Would you like to present that to, to Ms. Knapp? Do we have any other gifts that were being presented to Ms. Knapp at this time? Wait, I think there's more. Yeah. Oh. Well, we have people who are going to talk, but we also have... Oh. Oh. See, now this is a surprise. Oh, see. <laughs> Even my Vanna doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> we, have, we have a gift. This gift was originally um, in the works when we thought we were going to be planting Mary's garden today. <laughs> It's gardening supplies <laughs> for Ms. Knapp and the children, but we forgot to include a snow shovel. <laughs> Maybe next week, okay? Okay. Next week. Okay. Now, I also have, at this point, a letter. Oops, I also am dropping paper. I have a little note from our former rector, Chuck Eddy. He says that Carol Libby had asked him to say a few words about Neb. And of course, knowing Chuck, he took that literally, so it's about three sentences now. <laughs> this is Chuck. This is Chuck's words about Neb. I would start with, wow. <laughs> what a lady. What a wonderful example of true ministry over the years with the little ones that Jesus loves. She shared that love over the years and lived it out in her own life. Wow. She also put an end to a lot of birch trees. <laughs> you gotta love her. <laughs> Blessings this and every day. Love to all, Chuck. I believe we have some of your former students who would like to say a few things. This is Valerie. It is. I'm going to try not to get emotional, but it's hard. It is hard. Um, Yes, I'm Valerie Buckendorf, and I've been a member of St. Mary's since my family moved to Anchorage in 1976. <laughs> I'm Judy German's daughter, in case that's a surprise to anybody. <laughs> okay, so many of my earliest childhood memories are of events that occurred here and include many people still here almost 40 years later. Some of my fondest memories took place downstairs in Waldron Hall was with Mrs. Forsythe, that's how we addressed her, um, as my first Sunday school teacher. Miss Neb, as all of you children know her, uh, always had a big smile on her face, a personal hello for each of us, and an important lesson to share with us about God. Neb taught us about tradition and rituals in a hands-on way as we enacted our own mini-service in her room. Lucky children were selected for special tasks like carrying the flags or passing the wooden offering bowls or if you were really lucky, lighting the candles and then getting to snuff them out later. When you're a kid, it's a pretty big thing to be trusted with fire. <laughs> she did. 
Ned taught us Sunday school standards like Jesus loves me and Jesus loves the little children and of course the doxology. Almost three decades later, my first child, Andrew, was born a little bit early and was in the NICU. I sat with him for many hours in a rocking chair and realized how few songs I had ever committed to memory, especially those that might be appropriate for an infant. But those songs would be flooding back, and they would be the first his ears would hear. So five and seven late years later, each of my boys, Andrew and Christian, and have the privilege of having Miss Neb as their Sunday school teacher, too. They used the same flags and bowls and candles that my friends and I once did, and they enjoyed the new traditions as well, like receiving cross necklaces handmade by Neb on their birthdays. We're celebrating the last day of class each year with homemade donuts made fresh in the classroom. Andrew was so sad the year he turned six because school was already over, and he really wanted that necklace. <laughs> Guess what arrived in the mail, <laughs> just in time. A few weeks ago, Andrew received a very nice card from Miss Neb, congratulating him on his success at school. I don't know how you found out about that. We hadn't seen you in a while, but it meant a great deal that you took the time to let Andrew know you were thinking of him. Neb, you've always had a wonderful way of making your students feel loved, even long after they've left your classroom. We hope you know how very loved you are at Thanks for 50 years of making St. Mary's a very special place for all of us. tried to emphasize that, you know, keep your comments short and brief, especially the sermons. Uh, I never quite got to that point of being as brief as Chuck, and so uh, I, my comments are maybe a little bit longer than, than Chuck's. Uh, but I can't think of anybody that's more deserving than Deb for the recognition of her 50 years of dedicated loving to young children. You know, they were all blessed to experience it. You know, I arrived at St. Mary's in uh, 1964, so I've been around for 49 of those years. And I can't help but think, too, of Jesus said, uh, Suffer the little children to come unto me. And Neb sure epitomizes that command. You know, all three of my children were blessed to have been in her class. Anybody that's been around now knows how much she loves children. And they can see it and they can feel it. You know, over these 50 years, I don't think she realizes what a positive influence she's had on so many people, and many of them in this, this room here today. Around 20 years ago, I started doing a communion service once a month in her class. And it's been a real high point for me. I mean, the children are just so precious and terrific. Uh, I wish you could all experience it. It's, it's been tremendous. You know, many of you probably recognize some of these crosses. Anytime a child had a birthday, they got a cross. And then following that, they would put a penny in a box for each year that 
and they've been around. Now the interesting thing was when it came around for an Eb and I to celebrate our birthdays, that collection box got pretty heavy. <laughs> so not only uh, did they uh, get a lesson in, in Sunday school class about loving God, they also got a lesson in how to count real hard. <laughs> You know, outside of Sunday school, Neb has uh, been a part of our basketball group. And several of us from uh, St. Mary's have had season tickets for many years to the UAA men's and women's basketball games, and we really have enjoyed that. And one of the things you probably, or some of you do know, Neb makes yummy desserts. They are delicious. <laughs> All right. So Neb's 50 years of teaching Sunday school class has been an inspiration for, for all of us. You know, she sets a tremendous example for us all. I, uh, you know, the Alaska State flower is the forget-me-not. And so I'd like to present Neb with this pen, which is a forget-me-not pen, because none of us will forget the impact that Neb has had on our life. I'd also like to introduce Neff's daughter, Linda, at this time. Would you like to stand and ah. let us <laughs> Linda had the tremendous task of keeping this a secret from Neff, getting Neff here. You don't know it, I think, but she also brought donuts, and they're downstairs. We're going to have a big party after the service downstairs, even though we're not planting flowers. <laughs> Would you like to lead us through the Lord's Prayer? The children and Ms. Carol are going to lead us through the Lord's Prayer. One of the, one of the wonders of next year was to have each child learn the Lord's Prayer. And so I thought, those of you who've been through her class, and those of you who know the Lord's Prayer, might all just show Miss Neb how well you can recite it. So if you want to stand and Everybody recite stand. the Lord's Prayer, can you stand? I know a lot of you have done it. <laughs> you can't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We'll, we'll help you. It starts, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Oh, you get me. And now, um, we have a song that I, I thought would be appropriate if the congregation gets to see what a Sunday morning is like. Did you get that? This is an audience participation song. <laughs>
Yeah, we've done all my 